cinema is back. I've regained control, and I'm gonna take it to the heights we've never seen before. Should I see a movie this weekend? Ah! If it's a movie, we're talking about it. It's on Cinema at the Cinema, season 11. With your host, me, Tim Heidecker, president and CEO of On Cinema Productions. All right, I've decided to begin shows with the silent prayer as well as end them because it gives me the strength to have a great show and the prayer at the end is now reflective of the, uh, of the great show we just and if had. You're gonna take, so let if, me wait, introduce the show. If you're gonna take show, 15 seconds to up. have a silent prayer, I'd like to take 15 seconds to address uh, the elephant in the room from last week. Go ahead. Which Good. was that I feel like you sort of um, sprung on me putting Mark on the show without having told me that he was going to be here and then th these accusations and things that you're making about his I didn't care, use your name com once completely yesterday. off base I just like to say I or welcome I welcome you or anyone you have to come in and do an audit of anything having to do with Mark's care the proof is in the pudding Mark is well now he's a productive yeah. member of society I don't know how you think he was fed and cared for over the last year, but you're lucky that he's alive, and you're lucky that I was a good friend to him and took care of him. Uh, and was very we, irresponsible. I think John very Stoughton irresponsible will get to the to, of all this. So to spring that report. on me when we were supposed to be reviewing movies mm -hmm. uh, and not some sort of weird hatchet job. Well, when really turn the hatchet on yourself next time because uh, it was your. You've had using your 15 the, seconds, by the way, which used, is a gracious gift that I've given you. But rather so than hire a real it. scuba tank, he had no, a, a no, no, prop scuba in, tank no, 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 that was no, no, full no, of no, sawdust. No, 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 there was no oxygen in, in there. We're not That's getting why into that. he was... Shut the fuck up! I have big breaking business news to report, folks. That's why my guest, Joe Estevez, is here. I'm going to bring it to you, the news, live as it comes in. This is breaking business news on cinema... Properties, the property, the uh, investment opportunity that I regained only a few weeks ago. We are now restructuring the company in a major way. I have now created a board of directors, and I um, am going to be announcing the board of directors right now. I want to uh, uh, send a shame on you out to Josh Lorton, who have not, has not returned my calls, the director of Mr. America. He was supposed to be my special guest today. So we had to bump him because he's not gotten back to me. I don't know where he is. He's off the grid. I don't understand it. I don't know what's happening with that. The big story is, is the new the, segment, Joe, on location that we're going to debut tonight. I want to announce the On Cinema Board of Directors. Every great company has a great board of directors. And I think this one is bar none. They're going to help me... Uh, focus the company to become profitable and and really set our course for the next five, 10 years down the road. Uh, the announcement will begin immediately. First of all, my CFO, my chief financial officer, Joe Estevez wow. is with me today. Wow, I, I'm honored, yeah. I'm honored. Well, thank well, I've you. I've spoken to you about this on the Well, phone, yeah, so. but it wasn't final, you no. know. I, I uh, Well, all right, I'm, I'm glad that it's official. Obviously, I gotta have my uh, rock solid brothers of Dakar on the board. So Axiom and Manuel will be on the board of directors. And to round out the board, uh, my close friend and uh, security advisor, Michael Matthews, who is uh, better known to Decker heads as LaRue. LaRue, yeah, LaRue. LaRue. And so this is a strong board. They are, uh, Joe, with your sort of sage advice, are gonna steer this ship in the right direction. And we see a lot of growth potential for the company. And um, I, I see sunny skies ahead. Oh, What's absolutely. your financial projection for the next uh, few quarters for On Cinema? Well, you know, it, 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 it's all about the financing, and we have to talk to a number of, uh, of producers and big, uh, uh, big film companies. But I already, you know, I kind of have I've inroads in that. And direction. also, just and, uh, restructuring the the, fin the core financials of the yeah. company will be sort of key yeah. to your job. Yeah. But Joe, I need you to, you know, get in those books, get down into the muck and come back to me with a, a financial report. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get into the movies. And the new segment that we're debuting tonight, Joe on Location. This is something that I think on cinema fans and Estevez heads are gonna go crazy yeah, for. Yeah, We've been yeah. working this one up for quite a while, so stick around, let's let's get a look at it. All uh, right, do you wanna talk um, movies or are we gonna keep uh, prattling on about nonsense? This is movies, okay. so. Yeah. First movie we're going to talk about coming out this weekend is Gemini Man. Gemini Man. Gemini, directed by Ang Lee. Oh, starring Will Smith, 
Uh, from? From? Men in Black. Mary Win and St- Mary Wislist, Mary Winstead is Mary is Eliz- is Elizabeth, Mary Elizabeth, sorry, Winstead, and Clive Owen, two first names there. And over the hill, f- Hitman fit, hit, faces off against the younger clone of a clone of himself. And this is sort of a sci-fi. Sp- I kind of call it a spy-fi thriller, and it's kind of got a mix of everything. It's got a little horror, a little sci-fi, a little spy-fi and almost a little bit of humor too from Will Smith, who you never know where, where exactly he's coming from. And I love this movie, I give it five bags of popcorn and I can't wait to see it again. I'm planning on seeing it several more times. One time uh, for each genre that it covers would spy, be a good way yeah. to do it. Spy-fi, that's a new concept that we're, Joe, we should look, talk about how we can uh, uh, I'll make a mellow note of that, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, Will Smith's great. Of course, uh, Men in Black has been a popcorn classic on this very show, so. Uh, we're all very familiar with Will Smith and what he's capable of. I think this is his best performance, if not the best performance of the year by anyone. You've had a Bicentennial Man, now you have Gemini Man, and may its flag uh, wave forever. This is a great movie, and I do believe there will be a Gemini Man too, because this is the start of a great franchise. Thank you, Will Smith, and thanks to everyone involved. I mean, the whole clone thing, you had Star Wars Clone Wars, I guess is the ultimate clone movie, but you also had Double Decker, which uh, made a splash in its own way and uh, really kind of was plagiarized once from again in the making of this movie. Hollywood turns to once Decker. Once again, they dip into that pot. We've seen well, we it agree. time and time again. And if no you, one's doing anything about it. Joe, make a mental note that we have to investigate, put, Decker, put in the investigations wing of the company is we gotta start looking into how these Hollywood companies are basically pilfering from our stockade. They get hold of the uh, script. If you put the script side by side, some of the scenes in Double Decker, some of the scenes in this are, I, I gotta say, identical. Right. So. Almost That's like the real Clone War right there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give this one four bags of popcorn uh, because I feel that they did steal something from Double Decker. Then I'm going to give it the fifth bag for a total of five bags, but the fifth bag really rightfully goes to you and I as, mm. as creators of the Decker series. Soul creator Tim Heidecker of Decker, but I appreciate well, the consulting you did on it and some of the supervising, whatever you did. Nonetheless, but, we'll split the fifth bag equally. All right, that's and, fair. Uh, the next movie is Adam's Fa- The Adam's Family, directed by Greg Tiemann. Tieran, I didn't direct uh, it. T- Conrad <laughs> Vernon, Vernon, cast by. I did Shiraz. direct uh, Decker vs. Dracula, but not The Adam's yeah. Family. Directed by Cars, directed by, starring Charlize Theron, Finn Wolfhard, Chloe Grace Moritz. A new, and this is just The Adam's Family cartoon. It's not just The Adam's Family. Well, it is. And this is Lazy Hollywood once again coming back and have, have no ideas, they just pilfer through old movies and almost as the way they did with Decker with the Gem- Gemini wow, Man. Wow, that's the sign of a they, successful series. They I just say it's lazy. have no concepts. They go, it's like going back to the buffet for the fifth time, you know. You know what you're gonna get. So you wish there had just been one Star Wars, one James Bond, one, well, one of any of these great series? To a point, but... One Jack Reacher? No, no I mean, no. when you have something good, you want This isn't a sequel, wanna... this is a remake. And it's in the worst way, because basically all you're doing is they took the original audio from the original Adams Family movie, which is a great Oscar-winning movie, and they just drew over it and used the audio. I don't think that's what they did at all. Essentially, it's what they did. And so somebody should should uh, investigate that. It's another because thing, it's, Joe, if you want to look into that. It's different actors. Uh, Raul Julia, I didn't hear him at all. Joe, make a note, and I don't know why you don't carry a pen and pad. Uh, with, with you that for this stuff because the yeah. ideas yeah. are flying out. Yeah, you know, yeah. and if somebody needs to be, yeah. you got to start keeping track of some of these, the plan. Because yeah, absolutely, I'm okay. a little um, frustrated. When, when this movie was first announced, the Adams Family, the original director was Tim Burton, and I was pretty excited about it. And I'm thinking that Burton couldn't get Depp, and so rather than make a Deppless movie, he followed the petitions and sort of the movement that we started right here on On Cinema, mm. not to have Burton without Depp. And he said, if I can't have Depp for The Addams Family, I'm not doing it. That's how you ended up with a director. Great team, uh, that, two directors, really. It's two directors is basically what you have to do if you can't get Ch- Ch- uh, Johnny Burton. So I've had some crosswords to say against Tim Burton for uh, blowing it with a Dumbo movie and not involving Johnny Depp. I take them all back. This time he made the right decision. And so I tip my hat to you, Mr. Burton and Mr. Depp, and give it five bags of popcorn. Wow, wow. All right, so now uh, I will quickly let you show the segment you show with Joe as a favor to Joe. 
This is one of the new segments. Very hard on it. Yeah, this is one of the many. I'm loyal to my board. I uh, and that's something that I think doesn't get talked about enough. I really appreciate this, guys. Thank this you. is a new segment Joe and I have been working up. Uh, I have actually quite a few segments I've worked up over the last few months in preparation for season 11. This one is a new segment that we're going to see a lot of called Joe on Location, oh. where we go with Joe and uh, get sort of the inside scoop on some of these movies that he's done in the actual locations where they were filmed. All right, run your segment and let's get out of this. Hollywood, California. Every street has a story, and actor Joe Estevez has stories about most of them. On Cinema presents Joe on Location. Hey guys, we're here at Black's Barbecue in Austin, Texas, the site of 2013's Dune Bee. Let's let Joe tell the story himself. <laughs> This is the scene where I, I the, the very last scene, uh, Doomby, if you recall, was kind of like Jimmy Stewart's It's a Wonderful Life. And if things had turned out differently, I played this uh, doctor, Dr. Reaper, a very successful doctor. But if it had turned out differently, in the last scene in the movie, I'm a raging drunk talking to myself here in the back of this bar in Terry Black's barbecue. Back to you, Terry. Joe on location. All right, we are back and uh, interesting well, stuff, Joe. I always yeah, appreciate you. your perspective yeah, on everything. Yeah. Um, so tonight is the big premiere of Mr. America. Make sure wow. you go check the out. The VFA movie. Wow. Wherever you live, go make sure you can get access to this movie. It's a once in a lifetime experience. We're gonna go see it tonight separately. Yeah. I cannot wait to see this movie and revel in its glory. It's going to be a glorious day. Let's thank God. You might even learn something about the VFA when you watch this. Let's and, thank and God. I'm proud of you, Tim, really. I I'm mean, proud wow. of you, Joe. And yeah. thanks for being on the board, by the way. Absolutely. We're going to have a board meeting probably tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay. We're finding out the particulars of Axiom schedule at the moment. So let's thank God, our creator, for giving us. I want to do a, a, a vocal prayer right now. Not a, usually I do a silent prayer. I want to thank God for giving us Josh Lorton, wherever he may be. Uh, because he is our guiding light. He has created this opportunity his, through his lens. He has created this once-in-a-lifetime experience to see uh, what will be a f future five-bagger, a future Oscar winner, Mr. America. Strong, strong, strong uh, look at my at campaign. The VFI. Strike that, Lord, and know that we thank you for everything holy, and we thank you for everything good. Amen. And Amen. thank you, guys, and Amen. we'll see you next week. Go check out Mr. America tonight everywhere. All right. Prayers. We say hard. Yeah, but you're cutting so much stuff that I brought in. Uh, the and prayers so take 30 seconds. And well, that, a lot of that, my segments no are only Joe, 45 but that's, seconds. That shit with, that you did with Greg, uh, don't, do not want to see that shit on this show again. Well, you just, know, it's kind just of just rattling on. Off the top, you know, It is off the know, top, and let's do things that are considered and thoughtful and planned. If it has to do, thing. What is with the prayer? It's it's my it's just cutting. It's my movie, guiding light. Movie review. Well, well, okay, yeah. More, more, more power to you. Thank man. you, Joe. When I saw him, it was like I was seeing a ghost. Every trigger I've ever pulled. Twenty-five years ago, he took my blood. He made you from me. He's been lying to you the whole time. He told you you were an orphan. And of all the people in the world to come after me, why would he send you? I'm the best. You are obviously not the best. You're just trying to rattle me. I'm trying to save you! The whole point of this thing was to give you all of Henry's gifts without his pain. I don't want to shoot you! Mind if I shoot you? Henry, has this ever happened to you before? Your own government trying to kill you. Nah, that's new. Everything that we've worked for is at stake. I am just an icon living. He has to die.
It's your darkness. You had to walk through this on your own. I love you, Junior. I am just an icon. Look what we created. I am just an icon. This has to be stopped. You tell me who made you. I'll never tell you, son of a bitch. I'm saying double-decker.